here we are going to calculate the wavelength of the matter wave associated with a body or ball having mass 0.12 kg moving with a velocity 20 meter per second according to de broglie every moving particle associated with a wave the wave is called matter wave for the matter wave wavelength is lambda is equal h by p or h by mv similarly we are finding the wavelength for the matter wave associated with this ball of mass 0.12 kg and moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second so wavelength of matter wave lambda is equal h by mv according to de broglie lambda is equal h is a Planck's constant that is 6.625 to 10 power minus 34 joule second divided by mass is 0.12 kg and velocity is 20 meter per second. As we calculate this, we get 2.76 into 10 power minus 34 meter. It is 10 power minus 34 means we get 0.330276. 0.330276 meters means it is an extremely small wavelength extremely small wavelength. means a uh, wave is possible with a uh, extremely small wavelength so it is not observable so that from this we conclude that with a uh, macroscopic bodies with macroscopic bodies macroscopic bodies means bodies having the more mass and uh, which are moving with uh, more velocities here mass is 0 0.12 kg it is a it is considerable mass not like uh, elementary particles for the elementary particles mass is very small if the mass is very small then uh, if mass is very small then uh, wavelength is uh, observable but here if mass is more then wavelength is not observable it is extremely very small wavelength so that for macroscopic bodies uh, the wavelength is uh, not observable it is extremely small wavelength means the waves uh, matter waves associated with the macroscopic bodies uh, cannot be observed here matter waves are possible but uh, these not having the considerable wavelength that they are having the extremely small wavelength they could not be observable then we see that when an electron is accelerated through a potential difference of v then what is the de broglie wavelength for the electron we find here suppose an electron is accelerated through a potential difference of v when electron is accelerated through a potential difference of v then work done on it is w is equal to e into v as we get the formula from the electrostatic potential and capacitance lesson w is equal to v by q naught v is equal to w by q naught from the formula w is equal to q naught into v work done is equals to charge into potential difference when an electron is moved through a potential difference of v now work done on it w is equals to e into v here this work done is given as a kinetic energy for the electron so work done is converted into kinetic energy of the electron so kinetic energy of electron k is equal to e into v now let us find the momentum and thereafter wavelength associated with this electron now we know the relation between momentum and kinetic energy p is equal to under root 2mk where m is the mass of the electron here that is equal to under root 2mev now the wavelength associated with this electron lambda is equal to h by p according to de broglie relation now lambda is equal to h by p is under root 2mev here v is the potential difference through which electron is moving e is the charge of the electron m is the mass of the electron h is the Planck's constant here we are substituting the Planck's constant value mass of the electron charge of the electron then we get lambda is equal to 1.227 divided by root v nanometers or it is a 12.27 by root v angstrom it is also equal to root 150 divided by v angstrom by substituting the values we get a wavelength lambda is equal to 1.227 by root v now this is in terms of uh, in units of nanometer in terms of angstrom 12.27 by root uh, v angstrom also equal to root 150 by v angstrom now 
here we calculate when an electron is uh, more than the potential difference of V. Using this formula, we can calculate the wavelength associated with the electron. This is a general formula.